Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the M3 Lee Suspension 3D model that we're designing to 3D print for the M3 Lee model that uh, was missing this piece. As you can see, it's pretty much all complete as far as the 3D model goes. Got all the ribbing on that lower suspension. Got the, the little bolt head that sticks out there detail. And I tell you what, I spent the majority of the day on these rollers trying to figure out how in the world I could do this inner, um, this part here, where it comes out and then there's a hole there. That took me some, I had to think and think and think and think. And I made it way harder than uh, it had to be. And the easiest solution was the simplest solution, as usually is with me. Tend to overthink stuff, but it looks like the suspension that is inject injection molded in the kit. Very happy with the way it turned out. Let's get rid of that uh, photo. I'll just hide that. And we'll just kind of orbit around it, let you have a look-see. As you can see, it's still got the, the uh, rib lines on it. I still have to do the smoothing, but actually the pretty much the design work is finished. And it's hard to see because I don't have a light in the back, but the back of the wheels is basically a, just a mirror. This part here is all, all this stuff, actually, it's got the ribbing and all that. Which you can kind of see if you zoom in. Yeah, without a light set up there, I should have put a bottom light, but... I figured since the photograph was there, it was going to be pointless. It would have been blocked anyway, so... But that is... The suspension 3D model pre-smoothening and beveling. You gotta do some more beveling, but... And then, I need to save it as a certain file. And I can't remember what it's called offhand. I'll have to watch a couple videos and get that figured out. And then, throw it in the slicer software and start I'm guessing, I'm thinking of 3D printing it. Here, let's do the, there we go. And just kind of do a scroll up here. I'm thinking of running supports. Going from the wheel and printing it this way, starting here. Because I'd rather the supports be on the back. I think if I was to try to do it like, I don't know. Maybe it would be easier to do it like that. I'll have to think about that. Then I don't know if it would really actually need any. Maybe some supports here to keep when it goes through this layer, keep it from sagging. Because it printed the rabbit pretty decent. And the boat. The boat has kind of a... The rounded. And that didn't need any supports. Maybe we'll try to print it this way. I guess I figured the other way because I didn't want all the layer lines in the front face. So I was thinking if I 3D printed it like this. All my lines would be on the bottom. And then like the top faces. No, that's not true either. Because there would be... Yeah, each layer would have a little bit of line to it. Which I'm not going to worry too much because... If I can replace this missing piece on the model, do some weathering, I'm going to do some dirt effects and all that kind of stuff on it. So it's not like it's going to be totally obvious that it's 3D printed. 
Because that's the only bad part, you'll have them lines, layer lines. Which might not be too bad if I do my layers correctly. It's going to take some, I bet you it's probably going to start printing good here. And I'm like, awesome, and then this part's going to go <laughs> sag down. So I don't know. I might try to print it like this first. See what it looks like. Just do some supports here to support bridge this area up. And then pretty much everything else, all these are going to support the uh, this. Same with all that. Yeah, I might need some supports there. Anyways, I'll have to play with it. Figure it out. I'm new to this. New stuff. It's fun. But that's it. I will get this uh, beveled where it needs to be, smoothing out, and save it. But I want to give everybody another update. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. And we'll see you guys next time.